My name is Vera Solovieva. I am a PhD researcher affiliated to Yoshimitsu University. And I'm here to talk about war in Ukraine and how the war impacted uh, indigenous communities in Russia. There are a lot of indigenous people uh, live in the Russian Federation. It's about uh, probably 100, more than 100. Um, indigenous people, according to UN definitions, are um, supposed to live their traditional life. They have their uh, own religion that differ from um, state organized nation. And they have to have like, their own language. And, uh, Many people, many ethnic groups in Russia, they have these uh, activities. However, under Russian uh, legislation, only people who live in the far north and uh, far east region and whose population is under 50,000 are recognized as indigenous. Other ethnic group uh, whose population is uh, bigger than 50,000 and who live in the south or in the west part of Russia they are not recognized as indigenous. And this is the biggest challenge in the Russian Federation because without recognition, uh, ethnic group cannot, um, and indigenous, indigenous people cannot uh, effectively protect their rights. Women um, are the people who actually bring life to the world. And every woman, every mother, they wanted to uh, have happiness to their children and with uh, them. So why actually uh, women protested? Because they really don't want it to their children, to their uh, husbands to participate in war and to be being killed. I think it's like it's very important to uh, listen to women's words because they are very, like, uh, if, if there will be women rights and more listening women work, there will be no war on the earth. And um, when I'm mother of two boys, like a who's a mid twenties uh, and a daughter, and when I think if what would happen if I would live there during that uh, war, Russian Ukrainian war, I really scared because they would be drafted. And from my bottom of my heart, I really wanted a peace to all people. And I wanna um, that uh, I wanted uh, that any war on the earth will stop. I think it's like a, there will be a, it's supposed to be a, a real working mechanism to stop the war. Uh, like um, uh, UN Declaration of Indigenous Rights, they supposed to be, be a law to protect the right of indigenous people. And uh, Universal Declaration of Human Rights supposed to be a law to protect all people around the world. 